Hey my subbies, it's CC Galore here and if you want to see this get ready with me video, stay tuned. Alright, so today I'm priming my face with Can't Stop Won't Stop Primer by NYX. That's what I'm putting on my eyebrows. Next I'm going to use the Baby Skin by Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser and I'm going to put that on the other half of my face. Now I'm using Anastasia's Chocolate Dip Brow Pomade. Get you an angled brush to apply that to your eyebrows. I'm starting at the bottom and I'm going to work my way to the top. Now I'm taking my eyebrow brush and I'm just blending out the front part of my eyebrow. Next, I'm using CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the color Soft Tan. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eyebrow to give a little bit of a highlight and define the brow more. Now I'm using the LA Pro Concealer in Fawn and I'm just going to put that above the eyebrow this time. You always want to use a darker shade when it comes to the top of the brow and a lighter shade when it comes to underneath the brow. Next I'm using my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. And this is the color Golden. And I'm just going to put that all over. Now I'm taking a flat foundation brush and I'm just blending that out all over the skin. And now I'm doing the same thing to the top of my forehead, blending it out. Now I'm going back in with that concealer from earlier and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes, my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And I'm just blending that out. Now I'm taking my flat foundation brush and blending out just a little bit more. Next, I'm using my Black Radiance stick. And I actually don't know what color this is, you guys, but I'll try to put it in the details below. It's my contour stick that on my cheeks, the sides of my nose, and my forehead, and blending that out as well. Now I'm using another powder from Black Radiance in the color Banana. eyes, the sides of my cheeks, my chin, my forehead, and the bridge of my nose. The 
next powder I'm using is Ben Nye Chestnut Translucent Powder. In the color Chestnut. And I'm just using that as a contour as well. Next I'm just going to spray my face with a setting spray. Let it dry a little bit. to apply my lashes. You use whatever glue you'd like to apply your lashes. This is just the glue that I feel like helps my lashes stay on longer. I'm applying my lashes once the glue is tacky. Use some tweezers to apply them. Very simple. Next, I'm going in to my palette. And I'm just using a burgundy color for the outside of my eye. And this is the Subculture Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Next, I'm just dusting away some of the fallout. Now, I'm using my eyeshadow base, and this is P. Lewis. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a UK company, and the color is Rumor 01. And this will help to keep your eyeshadow on the base I'm just gonna apply that to the lid do the same thing to the other eye with my flat brush the next color I'm going into is an orange and I'm just pressing that into the lid pressing it in all the way down to the corner. Now I'm going into the dark purple shade and putting that into my crease. And now I'm just blending that out, blending it out. Definition, blending it out again. Now I'm just taking my liquid eyeliner, adding that to my waterline. Just using my mascara, just pressing that into my lashes. Next, I'm putting it on my bottom lashes. And doing the same thing to the other side. Now I'm just lining my lips with Chestnut by MAC. It's a dark brown lip liner. Now I'm going in with my NYX lip gloss. I cannot remember the name. I'll try to leave that in the notes below. And I'm also going in with a MAC lip gloss as well. And I'll also leave those notes below. And the last lip gloss I'm putting on is just a simple hair store lip gloss. Now I'm just spraying my face with a setting spray, showing you guys the final look. Yes. A nice fall look. Now we gotta fix this hair, so right now I'm just taking my hot comb and flattening out the edges. 
this is a quick weave with a lace front plotting out the edges so I could do a half up half down style so I'm just showing how I parted it off camera and I'm just kind of putting that to the side pinning the rest of the hair back so I can go ahead and sleek it up into a bun so I'm taking some foam wrap I'm just putting that all in the hair that's gonna go up in the bun and brushing that smoothly I'm just gonna take my rubber band and put that up So now I'm just gonna twist that around and make it into a messy, small bun. Next, I'm gonna take my hot comb again and just sleek down the sides of the hair before I go ahead and wet it down. going to do that all over with my hot comb until like I feel like it's flat enough next I'm just separating the hair brushing it out getting all those tangles out before I go ahead and put the foam wrap on it brush it all out till it's nice and thick and detangled I'm taking my foam wrap and I'm gonna put that all over, saturate the hair so it could be nice and flat. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. That side needed a little bit more foam wrap. I don't know why it was a lot thicker than the other side. Just brushing that throughout the hair. All the way down to the ends. I'm just taking a little bit of eco styling gel. I'm just gonna put that on there, kind of weigh the hair down so it doesn't fluff up afterwards. Brushing that through the hair. And there you have it. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, CC underscore galore. Thank you.